Hey y'all, I'm Vanessa. Today we're doing a review and wear test of the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and the e.l.f. HD powder, but this is in soft luminance. And I was really excited for this concealer because it's supposed to be full coverage and I really like the claims. So let me show you guys what this looks like. It's like a big doe foot, like shape tape and all of that. So I definitely do a wear test. I, <laughs> I plan on waiting 12 to 14 hours to do my last check-in. So we are going to see how this looks. And if you guys want to know, then let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so let's get into this. This is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in medium sand. I really, really like this packaging. It's super pretty and this looks so light, but I swatched it yesterday. Looks can be deceiving, <laughs> but it has a big doe foot, kind of like shape tape. So this is going to be brightening for me. I kind of go for both. Like some days I want it to be just the color of my foundation and I've been doing that a lot. But I seen some older pictures and I had a bright under eye and now I think I'm going to be back on that. So let's go ahead and apply this. This is supposed to be full coverage. So fingers crossed that it is. And I'm not, okay that was too much but oh well. We're going to throw it on there definitely too much like don't don't apply that much then we're gonna go ahead and use our sponge and blend this bad boy out this is definitely lighter than I thought it would be still <laughs> but that's okay that is okay it looks a lot lighter a lot lighter on camera than it does in person wow this is definitely full coverage like, do you guys see that? <laughs> it is not showing my skin through it. Wow. And it isn't too thick, but it is not thin. It's not like super tacky. Like, I really, really like the way that this is feeling so far. Like, I am really, really shocked by that. Like, especially with this being too light, Normally with a super light concealer, you will totally see your skin peeking through and I see absolutely nothing. So to kind of make this a little bit better, we're going to run a little bit down the nose, on the forehead, cupid's bow, and chin, just where it is so, so brightening. Blend all this out. Wow, I cannot believe how full coverage this is. Like, do, do you guys see that on my nose? Like, that is insane. And I'm so sorry if my voice is in and out. I have strep throat yet again. So, just please excuse that. I'm hopefully, hopefully on the mend. We will see. But I definitely don't feel good, but... I'm getting these videos out. I'm getting them out. Okay, I really like these. It's like a peel and then you turn it. It's like, let me turn this so we're not gonna dump it everywhere. It's got one of the little turnies to where you can dump it out as you want it. Oh, even on the cap it says pour powder here. That's cute. All right, sorry guys, I had a phone call. So we are just going to finish putting some on over here and see what we look like. I'm not gonna set the under eye with it. I haven't set it yet at all, but I can tell you that it is definitely settling pretty good in my fine lines, which a lot of concealers do, but it's a little bit more, it feels just a wee bit heavy under the eyes, but it's not anything bad. Kind of feels like um, shape tape does to me. It's a little bit heavy but I definitely put on too much. So here is this side with no powder 
and here is this side with the powder and I think it looks really really good it just kind of brings your skin back to life like it's not at all glittery oh I'm pretty sure I'm going to be obsessed with this powder you guys just going to lightly now this does say HD powder I believe so there's a good chance you will get flashback but yeah i'm going to set it and then once we are done with everything else we'll come back on and do a check-in and then of course we're going to do a wear test on this so this does say 16 hours i don't think i'll have it on that long we'll try around 12. <laughs> all right i'll see you guys in a few okay guys so this concealer um looks beautiful still it's actually been about three hours I had I was doing another um, review and tutorial of a palette and it did not work out for me so I took it off I started again still not working out so then I did a different palette a new palette and I did this beautiful eye look I absolutely love 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 the way this looks and I also put that highlighter on top of it it's in the palette as well amazing you guys it's beautiful it's beautiful it will probably go up after this one but our under eyes are looking beautiful and smooth and it's not accentuating my pores at all it looks so good like so good so i'm going to wait another several hours come back we'll check in and we'll see how it looks then okay guys so it has been right at 12 hours i lost the eyelashes and the eye makeup um so let's talk about the powder first the powder 100 percent, i would recommend it set everything into place it gives you a nice luminous glow but it's not at all glittery i love powders like that so highly highly recommend that the concealer I'm going to lean in here so you guys can see better. It's not moved. Like, it looks absolutely stunning. It hasn't broken apart. It hasn't, like, sank into my pores at all. I love this. I did a review of the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. And I ended up getting a lighter shade. This is 360, which is just one up from the shade that I initially had. And it's way, way, way lighter. But... <sighs> I love these. These are the two shades. This is the L'Oreal, which is a little more yellow, but I absolutely love both of these. But I mean, this one's like half the price. The e.l.f. is half the price. So if it were me, I'd probably just grab the e.l.f. concealer <laughs> um, because I, I really, really, really like it. And again, this is in medium sand. I highly recommend this, you guys. You really can't go wrong for $6. I mean, honestly, it's six bucks. If you don't like it, take it back, but no joke, this is beautiful, full coverage. With these two concealers right here, I never reach for my high-end concealers hardly at all. Like, I never reach for Shape Tape, ever. Honestly, I've been grabbing the L'Oreal, and <laughs> now this guy's going to be in the front of the line. I love it. I hope you guys try it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'm going to go wash this makeup off and lay down because I still feel awful where I have strip. So I hope you guys subscribe and hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.